Welcome back to Sea Stories with Mr. Do Right. I'm your host, Mr. Do Right. This is my lovely co host, mm -hmm. So Wong. And today's show is Redemption Part 2. This is going to be the interview with my boy, Marcus Davis. Mm -hmm. He wanted redemption. We're going to give it to him. You got anything to say about that? Hmm. So he came to you because he wanted re to redeem his performance on the first the first go round on the show. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Why did he feel like he he needed redemption? Oh I'm man! Curious. Or is you, something we can ask him? I tell you, well, we can't ask him. I wish I had a, a, a the video queued up so you could just see for yourself. Uh -oh. But you know what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You can always go back because it's still on YouTube. Check it out. My first. Te it, no, it wasn't the first. It was the second test broadcast oh. for the live interview. I had Marcus on. He was via uh, internet, even though he lived in town. Wow. As, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he, he did that to help test. Yeah, he helped. So, so I, 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 I'm not mad at him. That's my yeah, boy. That's exactly. my boy. You, you know, that's my mad. boy. You can't be mad at that's that. That's my boy. He was helping but, you out. But we're going we gonna to see if he redeems himself. He's in the <laughs> studio. Because he said, man, I got to do this shit live because I ain't trying to mess yes. up no more. I love cool. in-studio guests. Yeah. So we'll be right back after this mm -hmm. with Marcus. So, Randall, take us out, baby. This is Sea Stories with your host, Mr. do -Right, and the lovely So Wong. If you're a vet, about to be a vet, or thinking of becoming a vet, this is the show for you. So be on hot standby for laughs, tears, and the nuttiest duo since Laverne and Shirley. Laverne and Shirley, guys, you're telling your age right now. Mr. Do Right, so long. Let's start the show. <laughs> and we're back. Yes. Hello, Marcus. What's up, man? How you, How you doing? doing? We're in a second, we got your name up there because we want to do it all professional and everything. Everybody can see that you are Marcus Davis, yes, even though I'm saying it ten thousand times that he's Marcus <laughs> Davis. So, Marcus Davis. I hope we ain't too close to you. We ain't too close to you, honey, bro. We ain't too close. Honey. We like you too close. <laughs> she not close enough. Oh no, but he married, so you are too oh, close. Yes. She rather me on him than you. Yeah, that's true. No, that's man. a good oh. point. Really? That's a good okay. Point. Well, uh, 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 <laughs> you're like, no, 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 no. It ain't like I'm that. Better look at that. <laughs> anyway. Oh wait, did I did I did I hear something? You heard me right? Smack? Look. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this silky smooth skin. You ain't seen silky smooth skin like that. I can only you know, feel if it's silky smooth if I slap it. So, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're up here clowning around. We're supposed to be interviewing my, my boy Marcus. So, Marcus, we're going to start with the first question. All I right. hope you are ready, sir. I'm ready this time. I gave him the questions like a time. month in advance, so you should have everything <laughs> memorized and everything. So, the first question, I hope you're ready. You ready for this? Ready. I feel like we're on Family Feud. Okay. Oh, we, we, surveyed we surveyed a hundred people. We surveyed a hundred people, and we asked them this question: Yes, which branch did you serve in, and how long did you serve? I served in the United States Navy. I served six years. Uh, first off, starting off at Great Lakes for Great Lakes. six months for boot camp. Why are you smiling? I'm smiling because he's doing really good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you must know terrible. You must mean you no. must know something about Great Lakes. This, this is my my old my old face. You know, oh, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm just owing right now. I'm sorry. Continue. Don't mind me. Just just don't look at me. Well, actually, it was like three months in Great in boot camp. Mm -hmm. Then I transferred over to Great Lakes in our in well the school for uh, FC. Mm -hmm. uh, What's FC? There, FC? FC is fire controlman. Okay. Fire controlman. Yeah. Uh, is that like a, a role? Like a, a role? Like a, a type of job? What's fire controlman? It's a job, type of job. Oh, a type of job. Okay. Yeah. Surface type job. Okay. You putting out fires on, on the scene? <laughs> look, look, look. You're an actor, right? Yes. Okay. That's a job. But <laughs> just because you're an actor doesn't mean that, you know, you, you do one type of role okay. or you just do one type of thing. Okay. He's a fire controlman. He learns the main thing and then from there he can branch off and do other things too mm, in that, okay. that field. So continue on, Mr. Marcus. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Okay. <laughs> look, you gave me that look like, shut up, fool. I'm trying to redeem myself. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, did that for, went to school for that for about a month. Uh, that job was particularly over man at the time so they were dropping people left and right mm. which was a blessing in disguise for me oh i ended up really? going to pensacola and becoming an at an at yes an at is an All aviation terrain. oh Oops. aviation electronics I, i'm trying look i'm trying <laughs> what 
you mean? You became an AT-AT? No, <laughs> 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 Oh my goodness. Anyways, mm. he's our guest. Right? All right, see? now. You ain't no gang up. We're going to gang up. This on. is C Stories with Mr. Do Right. <laughs> Not Mark is in so long. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But uh, I went to Pensacola for about four months, transferred to my C school, which is in Biloxi at an Air Force base. Biloxi? Which, which was really nice. It, yeah, I believe it. Navy needed to like, co- you know, incorporate some of that stuff. No, but uh, anyway, went to uh, C school there for three months, and also my first duty station at NAS Jax at the calibration mm-hmm. lab there. Okay, did there for two years. Transferred to a CVN seventy seven George H W Bush, which is a carrier. Carrier, okay, yeah. like a ship. Is a ship a carrier? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm learning. <clears throat> yeah, one point for so long. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Okay, <laughs> thank you for answering that question. It's so good, bro. I, I, look, that is night and day from what we had before oh, to what we got today. We got I, definitely show the clip. Interview. We got to definitely show the before and after. Oh my god! Before no, redemption, don't do after that. redemption. Don't do that. Matter of fact, strike that from me. Yeah, it was like. <laughs> I was in the Navy for six long years. <laughs> like, is that it? <laughs> anyway, sorry, we we not focusing on that. We focus on the future. So, what, the ask, ask the next question. Ask the next oh question. yes, next question mm-hmm. is: What is your favorite color? No, I'm kidding. What commands? I love the, I love the just match them. Did you see that look on his face? <laughs> what commands did you serve under? Did you did you already answer some of that? A little bit. Okay. No. Ooh, see, well, he did. See? So yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so, okay. so how much you paying attention? So, see, I it? paid attention. Okay. What is one? <laughs> what? Is, what is one of your coolest experiences while serving? I want to hear this. I love hearing the answer to this question, and and some of the other ones coming up. The coolest mm. experience. Coolest experience. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you <laughs> That's not fair. You cheated. You already knew the answer. No, no, no. I just hope we ain't get the same answer. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> He's Sorry. dying with anticipation. I see. So what is the coolest, one of the coolest experiences that you've had while serving? Coolest experience, uh, I would say I got Sailor of the Day. Sailor of the Day? Yes. What, what, okay, what does that mean? Hey, Saturday day, pretty much, uh, you get uh, to go up and talk to the captain. You can take a picture with the captain. And he gives you a ship coin for act- things that you've done on on the ship. So that's that picture you have at work on your screen, Sam? Yes. Is it like a formal, like, a, does it have like a ceremony? when no, they? Oh, they, no. they actually woke me up. I was on night shift, and they woke me out of my rack last minute. Like, you got to go see the captain. Did you think you were in trouble? No. Oh, okay. Liar, liar. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no anybody yeah. wake you up in no, the middle of the exactly. night saying you, you, no, the captain want to see you. M- you think you're in day. trouble. Still, you think mm-hmm. you're in trouble. Mm-hmm. Come you on. Was, you were sweating bullets, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, oh no. Mr. Mm-hmm. Cool, 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 cool Breeze, man. Cool Breeze. Cool running. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jamaican Bob Sledder right here. Jamaican Mom. <laughs> 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 now, what was it? A chip coin? A what? Ship's coin. Ship's coin. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. And it's an actual coin? In most cases, yes. In most ca- in your case, it was a what? poker chip with uh, CBN seventy seven. Oh wow! And like oh, and so is there only a certain quantity, and so it's it's actually very special to get that, right? Yes. So, anybody out there watching, help this poor lady out. If you got a ship's coin that you would love to donate to Sea Stars or Mister Do Right, <gasps> so so yeah, one can so get that it. I can be please educated. send that. To me, contact me. I don't have a P.O. box, so I'm going to have to give my actual address. <laughs> so don't stalk me and stuff. But help her out, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, they, so they can be real coins or they can be any object that could serve as a coin? Please help her. Uh, <laughs> most cases, it is a real coin. Oh, wow. Is it gold? Is it like... Nah. Some gold plated. Gold plate. Some of them gold plated. But it's a coin coin. Ooh. You can actually put it in a coin collection. And a lot of times... It'll have the ship's name or 
like the ship's logo on one side. Oh, on the other wow. side, it'll have some other kind of artwork or uh, the ship's slogan or something That's like that. That's what we do with military money? Making coins Seriously, to give y'all? It's, it's, it's a reason. Wait a minute. She about to have me go off for <laughs> you. I'm like, wait a minute. Dude, don't I'm just fighting words right there. So boy, well, you don't understand. Because those, those challenge coins are, are like prestige. If the captain like sits up here, right? And they're like, are they kind of awards? like so awards? Okay. Right. So he'll put that coin in his hand and he'll shake your hand yeah. like, man, great job of what you did today, and you'll grab that coin, and that ah. is his appreciation. You know is what I'm saying? Is that how it was done? Like he shook your hand and then the, the nah, coin. No, 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 oh. no, no, no. Look, you steering no, 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 me no, no, wrong. No, no, I'm not steering you wrong. In most um, cases, that would happen. Oh, so no, see, oh. Look, boy, look at here. Don't even trust I me. Don't, She's my co-host. I had to eat my words. <laughs> I told you I like to <laughs> So that's the so coolest the thing. Coin. I'm, I'm yeah. asking you this again. I'm asking again. Like I did the last time. Last time he well, had an answer. Oh, yes, oh, this, oh, that, that's my final answer. The, that's your final answer? That's my final answer. Like, what was it for? Like, why, why did you there get sailor of the question. day? That's a good question. Why did I get it? Um, yeah. We fixed a gauge, pressure gauge that was for one of the cats. Or catapults. Okay. Oh, I was going to say, y'all got a cat now, and now you take care of cats. <laughs> you got to be careful what you say, bro. That's, that's, that's why I say <laughs> catapults. You know, I'm like now. a kid. I take it literally because I don't I don't have the background. So I'm like, oh, so yeah, you took care of a catapult? What? I fixed the gauge that helps that operate helps the cap. Oh, so it's broken. So it, is it a very critical? It must have been a critical piece of yes. equipment. Oh, wow. And so it Just was you explain, that did it. Explain to her what the catapult is and what it's for. Yes, and then she'll understand. All right. yes. A catapult is for launching planes or birds off the deck. So you know when you see the commercials and videos and it shows the planes just shooting off the deck? Yes. Catapult shoots them off the deck. Oh, they didn't fly they off? They don't fly off by, the, oh, by themselves. They don't fly by themselves. Wow. So they get shot off like a, a slingshot. Bam. Yes. Now, without that piece of equipment, yes. no planes is launching. That's a big deal for a carrier because a carrier, yep. that's the main purpose of a carrier, right? Bam. Right. Thank you. That was it. I, I like that. What do you okay. do right? Getting all teacher, professor, professor-ish on me. I like that. Okay. That, that's cool. <laughs> Anything else you want to know about it? Come yeah, on. so you so you single-handedly fixed it because he didn't give it to everybody else. You got the sailor of the day. Correct. <gasps> that's sexy. <laughs> Look, I ain't trying to get him in, in no, trouble. Now. That is so <laughs> awesome. I'm saying it for your wife because you know she is so proud. Like, mm. that is like, yeah, that's my man. That's how, that's how he roll. That's right. Well, that's, that I'm glad you said that because that can segue us into our next question, mm -hmm. which is, what was your proudest moment mm, nice. while serving? I see what you did there. What was my proudest moment? Look, look, look at Mr. Drew operating like you. You better be saying the answer that I want you no, to I say. No, not that I want him to say. I want him to say the answer I don't want him to say. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? You remember, the, you remember what you said last time? <laughs> no, 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 no. You the one reviewing that old footage. No, I, I know. I, I need to get off of that. I need to move that. on, but boy, it's hard. <laughs> he had me up here squirming. I would like, say one of my proudest moments were uh, the first time I re-enlisted. Okay. Why? I re-enlisted to go to sea duty. Okay. I wanted to encompass the whole experience. Of you see, he doing it to me again. All right, hold on. That's your proudest moment. Explain One to me. Of, I said. Oh, okay. We're going to stick with this right now. Okay. Why? What happened? Tell us what went on at this realist because yeah, this, this is something that a lot of people don't experience because most realist events happen inside the ship or oh. out to sea or different places like that, and a lot of people don't get to see that. What made that so proud to you? What made you feel like that? Well, I felt like. It was a good moment for me. It was a decision I made to go into the back into the service for extra years and to really make a decision on whether I wanted to do a whole 20 years of military service or, you know, just get out. But okay, I chose to do that to, to like I said, find out what, how the real Navy was because my first duty station was shore duty, so which was pretty lax, never really seen a boat or oh. the other things that come with it. 
So you feel Navy. like that first go round when you felt like maybe that wasn't the full experience and you Correct. wanted to experience the whole thing. The whole. But why was that your proudest moment? That was your best decision. Why was that your proudest moment? I'm going to hammer you, baby. I'm ready to Because <laughs> that was my decision to make. Oh, so, okay. So mm-hmm. you was, it was your proudest moment because that was your decision to make, and that's one of your biggest decisions to make. Correct. And that was going to steer you throughout the rest of your career. Correct. Why, why was that so hard? Why I got to be a dentist in this mug? I'm not, I'm not I'm a much nicer host. <laughs> Let me just get a... I'm a much, much, much. much. Oh, Lee. All right, all right. So you said that was one, and now you messed up when you said that. So you must have another one. So what's your other one? My other one? Okay, here we go. <laughs> that, yeah, that's right. Here we go. <laughs> I, uh, I have to really dig deep and think about that. But yeah, right. Look, All right. Anticipation, anticipation. <laughs> I know you like the dramatic pause. Um, uh-huh. His next question. Really? You, I'm you, trying to you, think because uh, I, I you don't remember. Okay, well, I mean, that's good. There was other things, but I, I just can't remember the whole. That's what comes story. to your mind when you think of proud moment is when you re-enlisted, when you decided to re-enlist. So, correct. So I'm, I'm still gonna push this. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, just bear with me. You never had a junior guy under you, and they did good, and it made you feel proud. There no. was no, no, no. Oh, okay. There was no like, no ice cream and apple pie. Day on the on the in the galley, and you ate it, and you just felt proud because you finished the whole bowl and stuff. No, okay. There was no no time where the the captain came up to you and said, "You know what? You you the baddest brother on this ship. You you make black dynamite look crazy. I am super <laughs> proud of you." You never said nothing like that. He, no. he think he thinking. Okay, okay well, he might have might have called me black dynamite, but it wasn't in that conversation. Because <laughs> you know you would sit there in front of the captain with that big old beard on. No. <laughs> anyway, okay, I, I'll let it go. I I think he got more. I I think we we just don't have the right buttons to push to get it out of him. So we we're gonna let it slide. But then we'll go into the next one and see if we can get something more out of you. All right. All right. So the next so, question, you gonna be ready for this? Go ahead, get a win. I'm what so drove you forward in your military career? What drove you forward? Pride my workmanship. Oh, oh tell talk about that. Tell us about that. Yeah. I work with this guy, so there's a reason why I want him to talk about that. Well, I take my pride in what I do, and I try to do the best in what I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as, like, calibrations and things like that, which I did in the Navy, uh, I try to make sure I get everything to spec as far as, like, So you're, you're, are you kind of a perfectionist or OCD about it? To an extent, yes. And I would think that in some pla- in a place like the military, they would appreciate that that precision, right, or that dedication to quality. Yes, and at the same time, there is a sense of urgency to get things oh, out too. Right, so it's, right. It's, uh, so you balance that you balance perfection it. or the or the refined, very good, very accurate precision but with got to do it fast. Yes, you didn't sacrifice the the urgency. No. Wow, so that's probably a big part of why you got Sailor of the of the Day too. And I would imagine, did you get other awards? I've got or recognitions. I got other recognitions. I was uh, up for Junior Sailor of the Quarter in my uh, one of my commands. Um, junior Sailor of the Quarter. So you went. Well, from not, I'm sorry, not Junior Sailor, but Blue Jackets. Blue oh, Jackets. That's still good. That's still good. Blue Jackets. Oh, you're like, yeah, that's all right. That'll do. What's Blue Jackets? Blue Jackets. Is it another is, level it's, of it's a It's like the lowest level. That's probably like E1 through E4, E3. So, I guess that brings up something good. How long were you on the carrier? Like, what ranks were you on there? When I was on the carrier, I was uh, on the carrier for two years. And I was, when I first got there, I was E3. And I made E4. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. And see, it's hard for me to understand because on subs, we we ranked up a lot quicker. So I got to the boat and I was a seaman. Next thing you know, before I left the boat, I was second class. You know, so it, it was a little bit different. So you got to help me understand that. Um, one way I can say this is um, basically, as an AT, there are different. 
categories of AT, you got mm-hmm. a, especially like an ATI where we take a test and it encompasses everything of, of all ATs, ATI level. Okay. And and my profession of calibration is a very small portion of it, and it's not utilized everywhere. Like we don't use the NAMP versus what every other AT does. We use the NAMP in some regards, but not as much as others do. Now you using acronyms like everybody know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do, but you, you need to explain stuff to Mr. Do right here. He getting old, so, you know, he losing his memory. And he I just forgetting old, I ain't that old. Now. Okay. So, you know, for his benefit, I won't you explain? Old. I was uh, For old his last benefit, <laughs> why don't you explain? All right, the NAMP is pretty much a guidelines as far as uh, paperwork and other regulations that shops utilize. Oh, they're like, it's like a standard? Mm-hmm. Okay. But mm, me being so. me being a calibration technician, our our utilization in paperwork is different from the, what's in the NAMP. Okay. Okay. It's time to get off that boring ass shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, we about to put it. I I was like, what? <laughs> um, no no problem though. Uh, look, I'm happy. You doing way way better than we did before, and I I think you redeem yourself extremely well. So totally. that was good. No, so, I liked hearing about Now, I was going to ask you some more about the military career. Now, you said that you did it to the best of your abilities. Now, why was that so important to you to do it to the best of your abilities? Well, because mm-hmm. most of the gear that we use and what we fix and calibrate is things that we put on planes and stuff right. like that. So you want things to go on your planes that are good, good to go. You don't want anything that's faulty or cause the plane to come out of the air. And why is that so important? Because that is utilized, but well, that is useful for the mission that we do. And it's why is that important? Huh? Saves lives. There you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I knew I was going to get it out of him. <laughs> 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 I was going to get it out of him. <laughs> All right. So. So you saw your value that you played a very important part in a, in a huge responsibility. Yes. Saving lives. God, that's huge. Well, keeping lives safe. Keeping lives safe. And see, that's yes, the important yes, thing. And look, what a lot of people don't understand, there's a thousand jobs on these ships. There's thousands of jobs in the Navy. But every last one of those jobs are important. Every job is important because what you do, you think is, mm-hmm. oh, this is no big deal. It's a big deal because it's a domino effect. If you don't do your job, then somebody else's job down the line that's really critical mm-hmm. can suffer. You know, imagine if you was a parachute uh, maker. Could you imagine making a shitty parachute? Right. And then one day somebody had to use it. Would you want to use your shitty ass parachute? Mm. No. That's why you would strive to do the best job that you can do to put out the best product you can. Because in this job field, everything matters. And that's right. what I wanted to pull that out of you. Okay. Because, you know, yeah, I calibrated gauges. Yeah, you know, well, sure, you know. Calibrating yeah. gauges, big deal. But you deal. cared enough to do an excellent job. Because you, the reason why you cared yes. that much. Correct. Right. Because mm-hmm. somebody's life depends on that shit. And that's that's all that matters. So, yes. did you have any military regrets? Let me start squeaking this shit. Any military regrets? Mm-hmm. Mine is to, uh, and this is what some of my senior um, people in LPO and all have told me was to enroll into uh I'm trying to think of the name of it. It's um ah, no it's not officer. It's uh pretty much anything you do while you're in the military. Apprenticeship program. Yes. Um, it was some I forgot I can't think of the name the name of it, but journeyman. Journey- yeah. Journeyman. And logging those hours of yeah. things I calibrated something like that helped me as far as when I got out. And that and also taking classes while I was on short duty. That's a reoccurring theme. You're going to hear that. We asked that question mm-hmm. just to push that home. Anybody that's still in and have time, realize that everybody that's got out has said the same thing. Mm-hmm. Do classes while you're in. That way, once you get out, you're starting fresh with that GI Bill. And you can sit here and get anything you want, but you have to lay that foundation first. You got to have the foundation first. Just a basic associate's degree will take you so far. 
Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Really yeah. Nice. yeah. Now that we got the hair shaking done, we can <laughs> <ask the> last <laughs> question. Last question. Do you have any advice for future military? Uh, my advice, I would say, is do the best in everything that you do while you're in and strive to do more than they allow you to. Because there was a lot of times when I was being the junior sailor there or, you know, I would ask for things and they were like, well, no, we need uh, another person to do this. Try the, your best to try to get these different quals and stuff like that. It's for, in my example, I was trying to become a QA uh, and that never really happened. Hmm. You trying to become a QA? QA. Yeah. Uh, what's like a QA quality again? Assurance? Quality assurance. Okay. okay. Woo! I passed that one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> <laughs> That's because that job, you, you see that in regardless. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, it, it let me tell you something. All and somebody told me this one time, I thought it was crazy, but it's a true statement. Military is just a social experiment for the rest of the world. QA is the same QA. You have an all hands meeting yeah. that came yeah. from us. You know, uh, y'all all must All hands have, on deck, that definitely. You see what I'm saying? Uh, they try it out on us, and if it works, they push it out to everybody else. You know, does everybody wearing they, they identification cards on the lanyard and yes. stuff? Yes. Yeah. Where do you think they got that from? In, oh, I never thought about it that way. Cat cards. Yes. Look, the credit cards got the little chip in it now. Guess where they got yes. that from? So, look. Uh, how come we don't have uniforms then? Well, cool y- uniforms. Do you not have uniforms? Think about it. Well, when some places, yes. You go to some work places, and look yes. at, like, we work at a place where we wear um, smocks. Ah. So, we might come to work and we all got different clothes on, but as soon as we go into mm-hmm. work, yeah. we all look the same. So, yeah, don't don't get it twisted now. We got it from us. The only thing y'all don't do is carry around guns. <laughs> <laughs> so Well, th- now we can. Well, no. <laughs> uh, do, do you have a gun? That's for me to know. Where are you hiding? Bad boys to find out. Where are you hiding? Where I hide it? In the back of my. What? That's All right, so let's go ahead and cut this right. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to thank Marcus for joining us today, for giving himself on this interview again. I think he did excellent this time, much Redemption. better than you. And um, redeemed. I appreciate him coming in, coming into studio. Hanging out with us. He didn't have to, but I pushed the shit out of him. And he finally <laughs> broke down and said he'll do it. So, man, thank you so much for coming in, man. No problem, thank man. you so much. Thank I know you, Marcus. Win thank you. I keep calling him a win when it's so long. Yeah, I don't know but who win is. <laughs> <laughs> he done forgot. He so, done forgot. what we going to do from here, and I know this is going to probably throw off my producer big time, but let's go to Rich's promo if we can, so we can get us a little time. another digital pathway is your leadership connection. Giving you the tools you need to take your leadership to a whole nother level. Well, my name is Richard Helm. I'm your certified speaker, coach, and trainer, and member of the John Maxwell team. Each time I come before you, I have three simple goals. I want to encourage you, I want to empower you, and I always hope to enlighten you. Today, we're going to talk about another one of my favorite topics, how to be successful in your organization. The five levels of leadership from Mr. John Maxwell. Power of serving. The leadership role of the man in the marriage. Whether you're married or whether you're single, this might be worth listening to. Hey everybody, thank you for joining us today on Sea Stories with Mr. Duray and So Wong. And before we go, I like to do some shout outs. The mm-hmm. first shout out is going to be from So Wong. Oh, yes, to Roger DeAndre James. Man, he really likes the show and he Thank really likes you. So Wong. So I wanted to make sure Aww. that she gave you a shout out. And I also want to give a shout out to my boys on the Jock and Nerd podcast. They are really cool. I did a podcast with them the other day and it rocked. We talked about The Walking Dead. You should check it out. I'll try to put a link. In the description below, and thank you for joining us with Sea Stories, Mr. Do Right, with your host, Mr. Do Right, and so on. Until next time, peace.